Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to build an irrigation system, a portable irrigation system. Now, why am I doing this? <laughs> My friend and neighbor that lives at the other end of the neighborhood uh, called me the other day and asked me about building some type of portable irrigation system. He is a uh, land speculator, I guess you would say. Um, he buys land and sells it and has homes built on it and whatnot. And on the far back side of the property here, he's putting in, he's extending a subdivision that backs up to this wooded area here. So in doing that, they've cut in a cul-de-sac. They went in yesterday and seeded it, fertilized it, and put down uh, stuff to keep erosion from happening. We got a little bit of rain today, and that is going to cause that seed to germinate but for about the next 10 days or more uh, we have no rain in the forecast at all so he's concerned that that seed is going to germinate and then not have enough water and die and they spent a lot of money on seed and fertilizer so we bought this Harbor Freight Predator 2-inch intake discharge water pump. Uh, some people call this a trash pump. Uh, I've heard them called mud pumps. Uh, all different types of things. But we're going to hook this up to this. Uh, I think they call these IBC containers. Um, this one... Uh, I found on Marketplace and went and picked this up for, for my buddy. And I went yesterday to Harbor Freight and I picked this up for him. And uh, we're going to hook this up. Hi there. So um, we're going to use this Predator pump. We're going to hook it up to this tank. We're going to fill the tank with water. And then we've got like a, I think it's like a 100 foot long hose that goes to this with a sprayer. I'm going to use that to soak down those banks over there where that grass seed is and hopefully keep the grass growing, germinating, and all that type of thing. So hopefully this is going to work out. Comes with a strainer and the plumbing fitting to fit the strainer. Looks like a spark plug wrench or something. And some instructions. Hmm, it's pretty neat. So I'm thinking we're gonna like set this thing right here. Yeah, I may have to uh, push this tank further up in here. This hose may be a little bit too long. I had to cut this off a little bit. What you got up there, boy? What you got up there? What in the world is up there? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's up there. It's up there. Get it. Get up there. Get it, boy. 
You gotta get up and get that thing. Get up and get that tree. Get up that tree. Get on up that tree. Come on here, boy. Come on here, climb on up that tree. Climb on up that tree. <laughs> Pop teasing you, ain't he? Look at you, strutting around. I see you strutting around. I see you strutting around. I know my dog barks a lot, but please don't ask me to scold him. He's just doing what he's supposed to do, you know? He's trying to earn his keep. He's, tr he's working. He's a working dog. He's trying to earn his keep. You working hard over there, ain't you, buddy? You working hard? All right. Yes, sir. Huh? Look at that. Now we just need a screwdriver to tighten that up. I still think I'm gonna cut this off. Cause that's right long. I'm thinking like maybe right there. I gotta get something to cut that, cut that hose. Let me see what I can find to cut that hose. Try to be like a fireman and do like they do, but it <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out too good. <clears throat> I know one thing, I'll never get this roll back up. 100 foot, that's a lot. open. Whoa, what in the hell? <laughs> Looks coming out pretty good.
clean all this dirt off the driveway. But this, this hose is not very stiff. So I can see where you could pinch it off and not work. Did a pretty good job of washing this uh, driveway off there. And of course, we've only got it on a third idle. That's wide open. right there but I imagine we're gonna probably be running it about right there just kind of let it rain keep going through a lot of water I need to tighten that up That looks familiar. <laughs> oh, Lordy. All right, I'll see you when you get here. All right, bye-bye. So that was Matt. He's the property owner. That's who owns all this equipment. Yes, so anyway. I know Matt probably does not want to be on video, so I'm going to shut the video off here. All right, going to shut this video off here. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the new subscribers. I've had a couple, maybe three or four. And uh, welcome to the channel. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. We'll get another couple videos up before the end of the year. We'll see. Y'all take care and God bless. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.